What's up guys? Welcome back to Ultimate MMA Plus. Here with my assistant, pro fighter Marissa Messer Valencia for some more boxing. Another very common question people ask is how do you block an uppercut? Which hand do you use? How do you not get countered if you block with the wrong hand? So we're going to go over some basics. Uh, come on this side. If she throws the rear uppercut, I have to block with the front hand, not the back hand. If she throws and I block with the back hand, I'm leaving my chin completely open for the hook. So just the rear uppercut right now, you guys are going to practice for one round. So she's going to go, I'm going to catch. This is more inside fighting too. She throws, here, here. One round, just drilling. One person throws a rear uppercut, the other person is blocking. It's the front hand, and I'm going to catch here. This is just basic right now. We're not worried about a combo. We're just worried about blocking that uppercut. Just to get the muscle memory. Good, come on this side. Muscle memory of blocking the uppercut. And I like to look at the eyes too. We're in here so I know when it's coming. Good. And then I'm going to go. So I want you guys to both practice this. So I'm going to throw the rear uppercut. She's going to block with the front hand. All right, nice and slow first. Get the person used to it. Inside fighting. Just catch it. I'm not trying to throw hard. I don't want her to miss by accident and, and hit her. I just want to get her used to the muscle memory of blocking that uppercut. This is one round, three minutes each. All right. One round, three minutes each. After that, we're going to stick with the rear uppercut. And now I'm going to show you why you use the front hand. It's because she's going to throw the hook. So I'm going to catch and block, just so you guys know. Uppercut, hook, catch, block. So we're in here. This is round two. Still dealing with rear uppercuts. So we're going to do a lead uppercut next. Inside. This is inside fighting. We're head to head. Here. Just basic drills for you guys to learn how to block. Look, if I caught the opposite way, I can get hit. If you're going to catch this way, you got to roll. All right? So there is times where we break the rules. So if she does throw, I want to roll. All right? That's a little bit more advanced. We don't want to go there yet. So I want you guys to do the basics. All right? Front hand block. Good. And then she's going to go. All right, there you go. Rear uppercut, throw the hook. She's ready. You're much bigger than the other person, ease on the power. I'm not really practicing for me, it's more for her. All right. That's the rear uppercut, getting ready for the hook. Now we're going to do the lead uppercut. All right. The lead uppercut is a little bit harder because you're going to block it with your rear hand, but this is for inside. You know, we're in here, not really head to head, but we're close and we see it. We're here, just like a jab. Just throw the jab, rear hand, lead uppercut, rear hand. It's the same thing. Left hand, hook, left hand jab, left hand upper. All right, so just the, the, the lead uppercut, boom. Move it around. Here, come on this 
side. Good, now she's gonna go. Lead uppercut, backhand. get more advanced look one block boom so with that that lead in you always want to be ready Perry block block don't wait for it make sure you guys don't wait for it you don't know what I'm throwing it can be faint moving around faint come on the side Just like period, block, nope, period, block. Yep. Eventually you can do all three. Peri, block, just to get used to. All right, but just right now, just the basics. Good. Now we're gonna add the cross. This way you guys are used to blocking with one hand and the other hand's ready. So you're gonna lead uppercut, cross. This hand is always ready, so I want you guys to always be ready. Peary, block, block. Look, if I block with this hand, your cross will come right down the middle. That's why it's very important for the, you to use the back hand. You can also slip here. Outside slip if I wanted. Good. Now I'm going to go. Stay on that side. Lead uppercut, cross. So, I'm going. Lead uppercut, cross. I'm going. Lead uppercut, cross. Yep. Yep. So, I want you guys to make sure you guys do both people. Don't have just one person practicing. Move. Don't be so ready for it. Stay relaxed. Move. Fake the jabs. Don't be ready for it. Be ready to parry, block. Yep. Good. Come on this side. Remember, I'm not throwing towards her glove either. I'm trying to throw right up the middle. Alright? Get them used to you're really trying to throw. This is basics of blocking uppercuts. Just so you guys know, lead uppercut is the rear hand, rear uppercut is the lead hand. All right, just to, to practice. Even if you wanted to practice one, two, like with the uppercut, yep. you know, just, just to get used to. One round, maybe. And then I would go, she would go rear. Uh, Rear then lead. Alright? So Alright, just basic blocks for you guys who asked about how to uh, catch or block the uppercut. Alright, if you guys like this, give us a thumbs up. Any questions about this, leave us a comment. Definitely don't forget to subscribe because we will add this to some counterpunch drills and get a little bit more advanced with it. Thanks guys.